history has been lost, desecrated, and destroyed. There is so much information that we could know about now that we can't due to people destroying it. Norse paganism is one of these things. Norse paganism was a widely practiced religion. It was a polytheistic religion, meaning that they worshiped many gods and goddesses. And this was practiced in the Germanic tribes all over Germany, Scandinavia, and Iceland. When the Crusaders went up and spread Christianity in the 11th century, they destroyed Norse paganism and they destroyed the people that practiced it. People were made to only practice it in their homes and then after a little while, they couldn't practice it at all. When Christianity was spread through the North, the Christians changed a lot of the Norse pagan traditions and a lot of the uh, folk um, traditions that went with it. A lot of the tales that people worshipped and people loved, they made them seem more sinister. One of these is when they assimilated the Norse goddess Freya. The Norse goddess Freya was the goddess of beauty and love, and they made her into a demon and a witch. They demonized her, and they also demonized the animals that were associated with her, which are cats. Nowadays, black cats are associated with fear and with bad luck. This comes from the assimilation of Norse paganism and the assimilation of one of the Norse goddesses. Something that you all might be more familiar with is Santa Claus. He's a jolly old man who delivers presents to children and drinks milk and eats cookies, and he travels through the skies on his reindeer. And store windows, they like to decorate all up for Santa Claus and when he comes in, the, in December, and everybody is all joyful. But did you know that Santa Claus comes from a much more ominous event? The Norse god Odin, in December, goes on his chariot and goes throughout the skies and riding through the wind, and he picks up the souls of the dead. This is called the Wild Hunt. How did a jolly old man who delivers presents to children come from this tale from Norse paganism of one of the greatest gods in Norse paganism going to collect the souls of the dead. How did this happen? Another thing that you all may be a bit more familiar with is Marvel. Marvel is a corporation that made comics and now there are many movies being made. They make movies about superheroes and one of these superheroes franchise is uh, Thor. And Thor is based on Norse paganism. However, Thor is not a good representation of Norse paganism. In Thor, there are many gods and goddesses that are represented in the comics and the movies. One of them being Odin. Odin is represented by this old crotchety man who is wearing really cheesy armor and he's wearing an eye patch like he's some silly old pirate. This is a representation of one of the greatest gods in, in the North Pan Norse pantheon. Odin is called the Allfather. Odin is the one that people all look up to. He is the father of all the gods and goddesses. People really respect him and they make him look absolutely silly and absolutely not powerful at all. Odin sacrificed his eye to gain knowledge. He hung from the world tree to gain knowledge. He is not the silly man in the movies. And then you have Thor in the Thor Marvel comics and movies. And Thor is pretty ridiculous himself. He's some small little guy and he's wearing pleather leggings and he's wielding a poultry tenderizer. It looks absolutely ridiculous. Thor is the Norse god of the thunder. Thor is a great god of strength. Thor is not represented well in the Marvel franchise. How would you feel if this happened to your gods? But 
you know what, there aren't many Norse pagans out there, are there? Are there many people practicing Norse paganism? Are there many people worshiping Odin and Thor and Freya? Does it really matter? How would you feel if it happened to you? How would you feel if your gods and goddesses or your friends' uh, religions, if they were misrepresented in our culture today? How would you feel if people disrespected you like this? It is not right, and people need to stand up for this. We need to come together, and we need to stand up for different cultures and religions and show people what's right. We can't have this mockery keep going on. We must work together, and we must change so we can all be respected. Thank you.